friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another episode of our Tiny Town Challenge. We are wrapping up Beatrice's storyline in this episode um, and then next episode we will have a brand new Tiny Townie. Um, so let's go ahead, open up the game and get started. All right, we are back with Beatrice in our cute little um, semi-furnished house. Uh, I guess it really is only what would have come with the house, the fireplace, the kitchen appliances, all that stuff. Plus, she has her bed. So that's good. Um, at some point, we got an easel. I'm not really sure where that came from. And we still have our waffle maker. I want to get her some more appliances. So for the beginning of this episode, I'm really going to focus on making more simoleons. Uh, because we need to update her house a bit. She needs some appliances. She needs like a top-notch chef's kitchen. Um, cottage vibes, of course, but she really deserves the best. Are you harvesting these? I was gonna harvest those. That was rude. Oh, man. Some of you are saying that I have things too close to the fire pit, and that's why they keep catching on fire. And you're right, but this is also where they slot. Like, they slot directly here. Um, so I'm not moving them. <laughs> and we'll just have to keep getting fires if that is what is destined to happen. You started to make this, but you didn't eat anything. Could you grab a serving of that and then we'll stick the rest in our selling table? Also, it's winter, so what if we make a nice winter cake? And then we'll have a sale. All right, winter cake on the table. Let's start a food sale and tend the table. What are we marked up as? 300%. Okay, tending our table. Look at all of the goodies we have. Come and get it. We've got some good stuff here. You don't wanna miss out. 160, what's sold for that much? 192, well, we're definitely making money, so this is good. Uh-oh, the snow is picking up. Oh, it's a blizzard. I don't know that it's the best idea for us to be having a food sale in the middle of a blizzard. Wow, but this blizzard must be making people hungry because we just sold a bunch of stuff. Oh no, something is spoiled. Uh, maybe don't try to sell spoiled banana split waffles. That sounds kind of mean. Wow, we made 2,988 simoleons with that food sale. Wow, the mushroom, spicy mushroom concert got us the most money even though it's only worth 80 simoleons, but so many people bought it. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, but we can afford to upgrade this kitchen a bit and get her some appliances, so let's do that. Start by getting you a nicer fridge, something that's tagged cottage. There is no cottage tag, I forgot. What should we go with? This one's not really pink enough. We could go this one. This one's 2,000 simoleons. Or we could match. That doesn't match. Why don't these match? None of the pinks match the stove. Maybe we'll just go with this one. We could do that. Four, two, five, seven, six, eight. Let's just do the nicer one. She deserves it. Although that means I just spent all of my money on that instead of on kitchen appliances, but worth it maybe? Ugh, we can't afford the mixer. Well, we can if I don't get that last cabinet, right? That's not my favorite place. No, I don't need a lesson, thank you. Um, that's not my favorite place for it because it hangs off the edge, but I like the idea of it being in the corner. All right, let's just do that for now. Uh, what can we do with this? Prep ingredients. Wow, we can do so many things. Let's do batter. Ghosts can catch on fire? Oh, he's not really on fire. Just looked like he was. Yes, you can stay inside during this blizzard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's just prep. Oh, wait. You can also put out your waffle maker. Where are you going? Stay in here, please. Oh, yeah. I forgot she has an aspiration to work on, too. Collect prep ingredients five times while inspired. What if we take a thoughtful shower? Will that help us get inspired? She also wants to cook a gourmet meal. Oh, when you collect batter, you get like five? I didn't know you would get so many. 
Wow, that's cool. I think this should be our last prepped ingredient. Hooray! Experience sped up cooking five times? Look in the fridge or the oven and select any recipe while the use prep ingredients box is checked. Oh! Uh, use three prepped ingredients that were made using fresh ingredients. Cool. Well, we've got four simoleons, so let's have a sale. <laughs> Look at all of our delicious, tasty food. We made a lot of different things, so hopefully we can get some good money. It's also night on the town, so I think we should send her out on the town. And maybe we'll meet somebody today. Not all of our Sims need to have a romantic love story. Some of them can be single and loving their life. Um, but she's a romantic Sim, so I kind of want her to find somebody. 2,412 simoleons. Awesome. Some of this stuff spoiled, so I'm going to throw it out. What did I accidentally put under there? Spoiled turkey dinner. Great. Okay. Um, let's go out on the town. Let's go to the bar. Or should we go to a different town? Let's meet someone somewhere else. San My Shoe, no? I don't ever go here. Karaoke bar? Let's go to the karaoke bar. Okay, we need to find a bathroom. Hey, who are you? Anaya. Should we do a flirty introduction? Just because she's a young adult and she's the first sim I saw here. Ooh, a suggestive conversation. Oh, she seemed to like that. Okay. Oh! Wow, I haven't told them to do anything else. It seems like they're actually really hitting it off. Um, please hold that thought while we go to the bathroom. What is use and question? Oh, because it's the talking toilet. Okay, just use it, please. Okay, so as it turns out, Anaya is married. And we are not doing that. But we are hitting it off with Miko. So let's just quickly make sure that you are single. Ask if single. Okay, Miko is single and we're hitting it off. And literally, Beatrice gets along with nobody. Everything is, okay, she actually gets along with Tiara, but watch this. Awful compatibility, bad compatibility, bad compatibility, awful compatibility. Seriously, everybody that she sees is like, Bad compatibility, bad compatibility, bad compatibility. So I'm taking like the the like non-existent compatibility meter as a good sign, which I don't know that that's the best thing, but she doesn't really get along with anybody. Oh, she's a neat sim. That's good. It's a good trait to have. Well, Miko left. I don't think there's any reason for us to stay. <laughs> We're getting pretty tired, so let's go ahead and go home. All right, well, I guess we can go to bed. Don't cook some more in the morning. It is raining, so I feel kind of bad making her do a sale. So what if we invite Miko over and we just hang out with her today? Oh, she's a geek. That's cute. Oh, should we have our first kiss? Let's see how that goes. Oh, they're having their first kiss. Oh, and it went well. Okay. Should we also set a resolution? Oh, it's got to be get a significant other. Oh, Opal's here. Um, we can invite her in. She might want to do some maintenance on our place. Ooh, Miko wants to come back over. She left just a little bit ago. Things seem to be going pretty well. Smitten. Beatrice can't explain it, but she is really enamored with Miko, and the sight of her makes Beatrice's heart beat faster. Miko Ojo wants to take things to the next level. Will Beatrice be her girlfriend? Yes. Wow. Wow, that was fast. They just met yesterday. All right, it's not raining anymore, so let's start a food sale. Oh, man. Our grand breakfast is spoiled. How's everything else look? Everything else seems okay. Ooh, we made 2,508 simoleons. Nice job, Beatrice. I'll do one more sale in the morning and then I think furnish some of the inside of her house more. Miko wants to go on a date. 
I think we could take a little detour this morning. Why do Sims bring us here? Like, this is not a fun date place. We can't eat anything. We can't drink anything. We can't do anything. Like, we could buy stuff, but I don't want to buy any of this. And we're really hungry. We'll eat some of the veggies we have in our inventory to tide us over. And we learned her last trait. It's good. She's got good traits. Okay, I do think we need to end the date and go back home. I'm sorry for ending it early. Thanks for a great date. Talk to you soon. Okay, she's not mad. Oh, she could come with us. Could make us a nice lunch. But first, I'm going to have another sale because this food keeps going bad. And we should try to sell as much of it as we can. Plus, we were supposed to do that this morning. And we went on a date instead. 1,692 simoleons made. I think we can do a little bit of updating on the inside of our house now. pretty good. Should we start another sale though? <laughs> Every time we need money, just start a sale. I like this little living room setup. It's kind of cozy cottage feeling. I'm not really sure what to do with this little area. We'll figure something out. She's got a nice island. Got some more. Uh, I figured we could try to cook a pizza. Um, oh, focaccia. Yeah, we could try to do some of these things. Uh, maybe I should be focusing on taking care of our needs. <laughs> um, I think I actually might do that. Let's end the sale for now. We only made 312, but that's okay. Oh no, bills. 144 simoleons though. We should be fine. So here's my newest idea. What if we get the marketable trait? This means that the things they sell are more profitable. And we have the funds. So I say we do it and see what happens. Um, what, let's make one more thing. I already have her queued up to can something, I forgot. We got lovely mushrooms and we also got raspberries. So we could put those in our little community garden. We'll need another planter box. One for our lovely mushroom, one for the raspberries. And let's plant those. You know what, this time while we're running the sale, let's make some pizzas. We'll see how that does. Let's get these plates out of the way. And when she's done planting those, we'll start a sale. Oh, it started already. All right, let's prep some dough and cook some pizza. It's really cool that she can do this while she is running this food stand. Wait, did we collect that pizza? We did. Let's add that to our table. And make some more pizza. Ooh, or some artful focaccia. All right, 2,408 simoleons. Um, no, I don't want to join your club. Thank you. Let's run another sale, because I really want to finish her house and wrap up her episode today. And we haven't even gotten the pizzas out yet because more of this needs to sell first. Oh wait, no, the focaccia is here. Oh yeah, that marketable treat, that's, I was about to point to my computer like you'd be able to see where I'm pointing, but it says, artful focaccia, quality, excellent, 264, markup 300%. That's from that marketable treat. Wait, 
No, maybe it's not. Maybe that's not from the marketable trait. I take it back. That could be this. <laughs> that's probably this. Ignore me. I don't know anything about this game. I don't know what I'm talking about. I want more things to sell so that our pizzas start showing up on the table. Maybe we should focus on doing some uh, sales pitches. Oh, the pizza! 196. That's not bad. But the challah's been the best. The challah sells for 364. And the next one is the focaccia for 264. Oh, great. A ghost is haunting our pizza oven. That's great. Ghosts? Like a lot of ghosts show up to our food sales. All right. Oh, great. Now we have a fear of crowded places. But we made 3,324 simoleons. So that's awesome. The holla made us the most. Cool. Okay, you could be done. Let's take care of her needs because they're pretty rough. All right, while she goes to bed, let's do some more work on her house. We've got 13,000 simoleons. And I want to get her a second story. Okay, you guys, I did it. I fixed the roof bug. <laughs> and by fix, I mean anytime you want to change or add anything to do with the roof, it tells you that it gives you like an error message. You have to exit out of the lot and then reload the lot and then it will have done that change. But you can only do one change at a time. So every time I wanted to place a roof, I had to place it, leave the lot, come back, rotate it the you can only rotate it once even. Leave the lot, come back, rotate it the second time, leave the lot, come back, stretch it the right length, leave the lot, come back. This took me forever, but it was worth it. So for instance, like right now, if I wanted to do this, see how it's it's overlapping here a little bit and I wanna um, fix it so that it lines up right with this. I'll go like, I'll scooch it like that didn't even give me the message. Normally it gives me a little error message. Oh, because I think I got to do this. Yeah, it tells me not expanded to ops, but and nothing changes. And I'll do it the same to this one. Not expanded to ops, nothing changed. If I leave the lot and come back, it'll be fixed. I'll show you. Okay, I left the lot. I just came back. And now they're fixed. See, now they are aligned. So clearly I was being very sarcastic when I said I had found the fix for that because that is not even remotely close to a fix for a bug, but it worked. I am desperately clinging on to wanting uh, this to stay a residential rental. 
Um, so her bedroom actually moved upstairs. We are not quite done yet. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do another sale. I got to do some more. Um, I fixed, actually I didn't do anything downstairs. I just created a second story with her new bedroom. She gets a bigger room now. Cute little cottage vibes. Little desk office area and a nice fancy bathroom for her. So everything's looking good for her. I'm going to quickly <laughs> sell some more food and do a final update on the house. I want to maybe get some more stuff for this little office area and do like a little guest bedroom, I believe, here. And then we will be done with Beatrice. At least that's the plan, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, I left this out in the rain. Okay, repair that. All right, we've got 6,000 simoleons. I think we could get a nice guest room out of that. Sometimes I check out these like pre-styled rooms to see if there's anything good. Does this come in a nice pink bed? Because we could do that. That looks kind of cute, but it doesn't really look cottage. Like, I guess cottage living is the cottage stuff. But I don't really want this bed. Oh, this has got to be the perfect bed. Right? Or what if we go with one of these beds? We could get a nice cottage style out of this. We did it. Um, we have our beautiful house done. And out here, well, we really got to clean up all these plates, but I put a trash can out here too. We have a cute little courtyard area with tables and chairs for our food for all of our customers to sit, which I just love the way that turned out. So from the outside, here is what her little house looks like. There it is. It looks so cute. Very happy with the way all of that turned out. So inside we have her beautiful chef's kitchen. Oh, excuse the mess. Her beautiful chef's kitchen with her kitchen appliances. Although the KitchenAid is out there. Here we go. Her beautiful kitchen. Her living room where she is currently watching the cooking channel. Very appropriate. We've got a nice little bathroom down here and a guest bedroom. Then we hop on upstairs and we've got the main bathroom, little office -y area, and the main bedroom. And I think it turned out super cute. Um, and that wraps up Beatrice's storyline. I am very excited um to have played her story that was fun she was not as easy to make money with as our other two sims have been opal was probably the easiest and frank stem ended up being um his was very like financially successful way more so than i was expecting um she could steal this back to eat some breakfast I wasn't expecting to be expecting Frank's to be as successful as it was, um, but Beatrice was definitely the most difficult. Oh, and our girlfriend Miko got her promotion, so that's super exciting. 
Um, she is now a community organizer at Concerned Citizens of Maishuno. Um, so with that, we are going to leave Beatrice and end this episode right here. Okay, just kidding. I had stopped recording, filmed my outro, and was coming into the game to get some screenshots, and this happened! <laughs> It's happening! Miko Ojo is so utterly smitten with Beatrice Jam that she is proposing marriage. I had to start recording again so that we could say, of course, Beatrice just got engaged to Miko! How exciting! Um, wow, what a way to end Beatrice's section of this series. So exciting, she is now engaged. All right, well... With that, <laughs> now I am going to go ahead and end this episode right here. Thank you all so much for watching. It means so much to me to have you along on this tiny town journey. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, all those good things help my channel and they make my heart happy. And you can also now join our membership. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you all next time. Bye.